Hello and welcome to the News Real Mind, Sinisaladigo. The Nigerian army has shut down the Song cattle market in Adamawa state following intelligence that Boko Haram members were sending rustled cattle to be sold in the market. The closure of the market has raised concerns as some traders allege that the action of the military followed their refusal to yield to demands of soldiers stationed there for huge amounts to allow them to transact business. Confirming the market closure, the brigade commander of the 23rd Armored Brigade at Gibson Jalo Cantonment Brigadier General Aminu Garba said the market was temporarily closed to check the activities of terrorists. Presidential aide Garba who has reiterated President Mohamed Buhari's desire to finish major projects across the country before handing over power in 2023. In a television interview, Shehu said that the president is determined to make the last push for major policies, infrastructure and projects that he believes must be delivered before he leaves office. The presidential aide also re-echoed Buhari's earlier call to Nigerian youth to embrace agriculture even as he admitted that the federal government alone cannot fund the sector. President Mohamed Buhari has pledged to assist Mali in every way possible within the ambit of the economic community of West African states ECOWAS. The president made the promise on Thursday when he received a special envoy from Mali's Minister of Territorial Administration and Decentralization, Colonel Abdullahi Maiga, at the State House. At the Palais, a special meeting of ECOWAS to further deliberate on the political situation in Mali was scheduled to be held in Ghana on January 9, 2022. The Supreme Court has agreed to hear legal challenges to two of Biden's administration's COVID-19 vaccine mandates for large employers and health care facilities. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki on Wednesday disclosed that the administration is confident in the legal authority of both policies instituted by the Biden administration and the Department of Labor, adding that the Justice Department would defend both. According to Saki, as the U.S. faces the highly transmissible Omicron variant, it is critical to protect workers with vaccination requirements and testing protocols that are urgently needed. The federal government has spent $1.68 billion on food importation from January to September 2021. The Central Bank of Nigeria disclosed this in a report on sectoral utilization of foreign exchange for the third quarter of last year. During the Bankers' Committee retreat in Lagos recently, the governor of the CBN, Godwin Emefiele, said Nigeria could produce enough to feed its citizens, stressing that the banks had done a lot to support the economy and will still do more to catalyze the economy for growth. In China, at least 20 people were trapped in the rubble of a collapsed building after an explosion on Friday in the city of Chongqing. Footage posted on social media shows smoke and dust billowing from the collapsed building in Wulong District on the outskirts of the southwestern megacity. According to state media, authorities have sent around 260 rescue workers and 50 vehicles to the site, adding that the cause of the blast was still under investigation. So far, nine people have been rescued from the rubble and some of the injured taken to hospital for treatment. In sports, Brazilian playmaker Felipe Coutinho will return to the Premier League after an unsuccessful spell with Barcelona following six years at Liverpool. The playmaker has now agreed to join Ashton Villa on a six-month loan with the option to turn the deal into a permanent transfer in the summer transfer window. Coutinho had been linked with a number of other Premier League sides after struggling to nail down a regular start at Barcelona after his 140 million euros move from Liverpool in 2018. That's all on the newsroom. Do join us for the next hour for more updates. I'm Simi Soladigon.